Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here. Welcome to a quick review slash reaction video to my my good friend's band Inari. I really, really like and appreciate their music. I've talked about them before. I've mentioned them. I've used some of their songs. I think my Black Ops Damage Control or Damage Montage, I used their song Damage Control. Um, so if you want to check that out, you can get a taste of music. They they make really good music. And Benson, uh, the vocalist and like mixer and recorder, he does amazing work when it comes to mixing and just perfection. And I know how, how much Benson cares about you know, refining the songs to a T, and I know how much work he puts into all of it. I mean, I, I've seen all the work he puts into it. I see his setup, I see his efforts, and it's amazing, and he's, they're all so good at what they do. So, I haven't heard this. This is Gen 10 or Gen 10. I don't know how they're pronouncing it. I didn't ask yet. All right, here we go. This is Gen 10 or Gen 10. I'm guessing it's Gen 10. I don't know. Genton. Oh, you know, it's probably Genton, like, Gent music. Like, it's a fucking Harley joke, isn't it? It's a Harley joke. Oh, my God. I, or I'm an idiot. I here we go. First time I've heard it. <clears throat> nice. It looks so cool, though. I, I don't think there's going to be much to watch. It's going to be more of a listening. Yep, it's definitely Gen. Sounds Gen. I want to pause real quick. Uh, I'm sorry, I might be pausing to make comments. It's definitely Gen. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole joke. Um, but I can already tell that this would be a song I would love for them to open with or at least play second uh, live because just how everything sounds, the background ambience, all of the just how slappy and steppy it is, I can already tell that it's going to bounce off the walls and really get people just, like, you can't not nod your head or tap your foot to the song at bare minimum. You can't, you can't not move your body. I can already tell that this is going to be a, a crowd-pumping song. I love that personally. I love the electronic feel to it. Oh. I got goosebumps right there. I did. Little ones, but they crept up on me. I just love the muffled background vocals. It's awesome. Always like that style. Ben! Loved it. All right, so 
That was great. Um, for me personally, I want to comment that like I get very bored very quick of songs that are just screaming all the way through because I just like it's good, 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 and then my it just it sounds the same, so I trail off and I just stop paying attention to the song. It's good background noise, but I I, I lose I lose interest in a song that's screaming. Like that's a big reason why I don't like Suicide Silence back in the day because it was just all screaming. I got so bored and fed up with it, but. And that's one thing I like about Inari about about uh, them is Benson has really good screams. He has very he has amazing highs and he has threatening lows and just the gurgle and he's he just has such a such an incredible passionate range. That I I respect him so much for how, how he's refined himself that much and he's always improving. And just in vocals and mixing and everything. I know everyone pours their heart and soul into everything that they do in this band. And just everyone comes together to just make a masterpiece. And every song, it feels so professional. But it's all literally done in home, in house. I have all the earliest versions of most of their songs and everything. Like old, like stuff they would be embarrassed for you to hear right now. And I've, I've gone up on stage with them. I did a corn cover live with them. And it was, it's just so much fun. The energy that they pull. Because I've been to a bunch of the shows. I've been to like eight of their shows. Uh, in through blizzards and, and heat, I've done it all with them. Uh, not all of it, obviously, but I've done so much with them, and I just they they need to go places, you know. They I, they have the etiquette, they have the compassion for music, and they just they have their problems like any band. But at the end of the day, you know, they are an Ari, and it's amazing. I've seen what they can do. I've seen how they can turn a crowd from shifting back and forth, just like. <clears throat> listening to their post-hardcore bands, 10 of the same exact sounding bands up in a row, and then Inari comes out on stage, and it's just a fucking explosion. It's just everybody. Nobody's not moving when Inari plays. It's it's insane. I'm not kidding, guys. It's fucking crazy how much they stir the crowd, how much everyone just gets into it, and it's crazy, and they have to deserve, they have to get props for that. So, yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. I Like I said, I will link all, as, as I will just check the description. I will link everything I possibly can for them, and I'll recommend a couple of my favorite songs down there in text, um, and maybe a link to the song if I can find a direct link. I think they're on SoundCloud. I have to double check. I don't remember. I don't usually use the, the music websites much. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Please go check them out. Please go support them. Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Good job, guys. Inari, not you guys. You guys watched. Good job, band. Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>